Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 10th through the 16th. We've got a little bit of a oceany vibe here for the summer, a little bit of a different setup. And I'm using a beautiful mermaid deck this week. And so as always, deck info will be in the description of the video. We're going to see what's coming up for our Leo friends, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, spirituality, finances, um, family life, just kind of whatever comes up love readings uh the links for love readings is in the description of this video if you want to watch the love readings after this one feel free but we're going to see what's coming up for our leo friends in the week ahead keep in mind guys these are general readings all right here's your monday tuesday leo your wednesday thursday and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Guys, I got so much positive feedback from last week's readings. A lot of you really love that prayer at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and pull another blessing card for you guys. And another prayer um, for Leo at the end of this video. If you want to stick around for that. Alright, a lot of the cards have been getting... Um, a lot of the signs have been getting this card. Not every single one, but a lot of them have. And I'm actually very happy to see this card coming up. Um... The Divine Masculine is one of the things I've really been wanting to do uh, some videos on. And so um, I'm happy that this is coming up for a lot of the signs. So this is saying, honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. This is going to apply for you whether or not you are male or identify as male. Uh, or whether or not you're female or identify as female. Um... A lot of you in the beginning of the week, things are going to be happening where you're really examining, even within yourself, your own masculine energy. Because let's face it, guys, we all have masculine and feminine energy within ourselves. So you're going to be um, just kind of seeing within yourself your own masculine qualities, which really tend to do with... Um, uh, the, 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 the direction of the way that you're going, the actions that you're taking, uh, that forward movement in life, that uh, strategy, that analyzing. And that's not to say there aren't women who aren't good at these things. Those are just kind of deemed to be masculine traits, whereas feminine traits tend to be like creative endeavors and, and artistic things and creative expressions. That doesn't mean there aren't men who aren't creative. I, some of the most creative people I know happen to be men. But creative energy is labeled as feminine. And that other more uh, analytical planning type stuff is labeled as masculine. So some of you are really strengthening or connecting with your masculine energy. But in addition with that, there may have been some toxic views or incorrect views or some, uh, you know, false beliefs that you have developed over time or in childhood about masculinity or about men. So, and it could go either way. Maybe you have had a very negative view of men that, oh, you just, you can't, you can't trust them. They're here today, gone tomorrow. They're dogs or this or that. They're cheaters. Um, you know, whatever, you know, you might have a very negative view or it could be the opposite, super, super, super opposite belief, which still isn't that great. You may have had a belief that like, you know, the men in your life, they were super men and, and there, there's nothing they can't do and they never get hurt and they never cry and they're these heroes, you know. And so you might have very unrealistic expectations of the men in your life as a result. Those of you who identify as male, you may have had certain things that were presented to you that you felt like okay this is what it is to be a man and they may have not been very healthy they could have been like super masculine in a in a in a in a stereotypical way like a machismo type of way like being really macho or oh well, if you're gonna be a man you gotta have a bunch of ladies or oh, if you're gonna be a man you gotta work like a dog and, and and sacrifice and work from morning to night and this is what it means to be a man or whatever it might be there might just be some beliefs that really aren't doing you a whole lot of favors in your personal life in your love life and a lot of these things are going to be coming to the surface so that you can release them and heal them to benefit your connection with the masculine some of you are becoming a divine masculine some of you are calling in your divine masculine but this is happening to improve your relationships with others and to improve your love life okay um and to just kind of improve everything that 
uh, you've been dealing with your interpersonal relationships and emotional intimacy and things of that nature. Your Wednesday, Thursday, my Leo friends, is air. Breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies, right? So we already kind of talked about how there was going to be this healing of the view of the masculine, okay? And so now it's coming into exchanging, being able to um, exchange uh, life force, energy, uh, thoughts, air is, you know, air is the realm of, of thoughts, so expressions, ideas. Uh, some of you are experiencing uh, a time of becoming unstuck. That's what I'm hearing with this card. A time of being unstuck, being able to come up for air, being able to breathe, being able to have an idea of what direction you want to go in. Some of you, and again, this isn't necessarily going to be focusing on love, but some of you are really establishing a very significant soul connection or somebody who's coming in that's going to be very, very um, impactful in your life over the summer okay like some kind of a summer romance but this would be a very significant soulmate and this is somebody who's going to be helping you just kind of get your fire back you feel like you're alive feeling like a breath of fresh air for some of you um let's see here yep i do feel this is going to be an exchange with another person for for many 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 of you. Um, I feel some of you are kind of like hiding away with this person. Maybe you're not going on a trip. Maybe you're not traveling with them, but uh, there's a sense of sanctuary. Like I'm just going to go off and be alone with this person. Maybe I'm just like not paying attention to my phone. Maybe I'm not uh, hanging out or being super social with people and you're just kind of melting away with this person or just finding somewhere where you all can uh, hide away from the world today together and express these thoughts these ideas i feel that there's going to be a lot of conversation with this person a lot of just kind of laying around cuddling talking um and what you're really going to discover a lot of ideas for your future um hearing yourself say certain things having a better understanding of some of your past beliefs and experiences that's really coming in a way where uh, you're going to have, again, adding to your direction, adding to having a very clear understanding of where you're headed, having that sense of permanence in your life, um, and just knowing who you are, where you want to go, who you want to be with, what's important for you, what your deal breakers are. There's a lot of discovery that's coming in uh, through this connection for many of you. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is energy field adjustment or a cleansing and health okay so whatever's happening here where you're examining your views and where you're having these uh, memories and these thoughts and uh, you know you're planning for the future it might be triggering some emotions up in, in some of you so some of it might be coming in others triggering you or upsetting you or aggravating you or striking a nerve and so there is going to be some energy here where you're going to find yourself needing to clear them or adjust them and um so that is something that some of you are going to be doing this card came up for one of the other signs and i got a very interesting vibe or feel from it for them where there was going to be some kind of uh like setting up a ceremony so that might be happening for some of you where you're kind of coming up with your own little ceremony or your own little oh i'm gonna let this candle or i'm gonna do this thing or i'm gonna do that thing where you're kind of creating your own little release and and cleanse energy and that might be happening for some of you but i'm feeling this card in a different way for you leo i'm feeling this card for you in a way where you are uh, going through uh, stepping away from people and things that are upsetting you or feeling very toxic to you. It feels to me like, like, like a cleanse in which you're just kind of shedding off layers or stepping away from certain people or certain connections. It feels to me like a cleanse in that way in which you're pretty much just kind of taking back your power 
right taking back your energy in that way um i love how there's light here i love how there's all this orange in her hair it really gives me a sense of fire right leo and you are a fire sign so i do feel like a lot of you are really connecting with your fire you're really connecting with your fire and your strength and just being able to stand up for yourself some of you stand up for yourself and distance yourself from people or situations that are bringing you down or affecting you negatively okay so it feels to me like a cleanse in that way like to me it feels like like just a physical physically you're removing uh you know certain uh <laughs> interactions from your life where you're just like this is not good i don't like the way it's making me feel so i'm not going to tolerate it anymore i'm not going to be around it anymore so let's go ahead and take a look at your blessing and your prayer for the week ahead leo and see what is coming up for you. A blessing of the air. So this is really significant because... You had air card in the middle of the week, and now we have air coming up again for you. Uh, so air could be, you guys, maybe there's a very significant air sign that you're going to be dealing with that's coming in. We did talk about a significant soulmate or someone who's kind of helping you come in and, and we discover yourself. So for some of you, this could be where you're having a very significant connection with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius person because air is coming up here for you twice. For some of you, you're connecting with your own attributes um, of air, which is your, your thinking, your reasoning, your planning, your moving ahead, which also would connect with your divine masculine or your masculine card that came up as well. So this is really weaving in nicely with your reading for the week. But we're going to go ahead and go to the prayer and see what is coming up for you and what the blessing wants you to know. So... You guys can definitely save this video and come back and listen to the prayer um, every night before you go to bed or every morning when you wake up if you wish to do that. All right, Leo. Leo, a blessing to all. The free-flowing movement of inspiration, free ideas, purposeful memories, clear thoughts, and true words this day. Beautiful soul, Leo. May you be most blessed this day by the element of air. May your thoughts and words be in harmony with each other. And may they be inspired by trust in your ability to understand deeply with the gifts of the mind, all that is within you, all that is without you. May your gift of the mind be clear and open. And may worthy ideas blossom and be expressed with ease and grace in words and actions that are in affinity with the highest of your ideals. May there be knowledge that is enriching, informative, information that is trustworthy, words that are true in your world this day. Let memories that arise be ones which support you in your tasks. Awaken forgotten dreams and may the qualities of your thoughts match the boundless of the sky may there be freedom and perspective as you move through this cycle of the sun and may the winds of change blow from your life whatever it is best to liberate yourself from let the weightlessness of the air free you from burdens that hold you from your dreams and may the very air you breathe be pure and enlivening awakening you to the limitlessness of your life's possibilities may you feel inspired and refreshed loved and nurtured with every breath in and with every each breath out release from your mind all that is no longer in alignment with who you are becoming let your wings grow and strengthen until you take flight let scent and song and soaring freedom be yours for these are the domains of the element of air, and these are the blessings that are all about you this day. Most of all, may you fill yourself with what is good and true and pure, and may your every breath be blessed, Leo. Blessed be.